This clip is going to look at some aspects of uh, the aggregation framework in MongoDB, especially calculations such as multiplication, division, etc. So we're using the movie details um, collection. And the question we're trying to solve in this case is, uh, it says as follows, that assume that the total income for a movie can be estimated by multiplying the IMDB rating for the movie by the runtime for the movie. So we're going to consider movies made in 1950, 60 or 1970 that have exactly four actors and we're going to display the name of the director, the IMDb rating, the runtime and the total income for the movie. So we then want to further refine the documents to display only those with a total income in excess of 600 euro and they should be sorted in reverse order by total income. So that explains the reason why we have a match stage, a project stage, another match stage, and a sort stage. So the first match stage, its purpose is to only allow through the documents that are going to qualify. So we want to include only documents that relate to the years 1950, 1960, or 70. So the dollar sign in looks after that. Combined with um, an actors, for this four actors. So the actors um, field is an array and therefore dollar sign size uh, four will in, will filter it just those uh, qualifying actors those those uh, films where there's or movies where there's four, exactly four actors so the match stage uh, narrows down the documents that are passed down to the project stage and in the project stage we're mainly interested in according to the question to display the director's name the imdb rating the runtime and then the total income. So the total income, according to the question, is got by multiplying. So that's why you see in the project stage, tot income is based on multiplying. So it's dollar sign multiply. And then inside the square brackets is the IM, dollar sign IMDB rating multiplied by our comma dollar sign runtime. So that's going to result in the IMDB B rating being multiplied by the runtime. And then whatever values are generated at the project stage, uh, they're going to be further filtered or refined at the next match stage. The next, this match stage is a bit like a having clause in an SQL query. So it's only going to let through those documents um, from the project stage that have a total income greater than 600. And finally, we're sorting them in reverse order by total income. So if we execute this uh, aggregation pipeline, you'll see the query in action or the pipeline in action. So what's showing on, on screen on the right hand side here for each movie is its runtime, its director, um, the IMDB rating, and the uh, total income. So the total income here for the first movie we'll say is 1,409 or thereabouts. So that's got, as I said, by taking the rating and, and multiplying it by the runtime. So the rating will say is roughly 8 and the runtime is 175. So 8 times 175 is around 1,400. So that looks correct. The last one here in the list maybe it's easier to work with. Uh, it's, it's perfect numbers. The runtime is 100. And the IMDB rating is 6.5. So therefore, the total income is going to be 100 times 6.5, which is equal to 650. So the, uh, the, main, is that the main purpose of this clip is to demonstrate how we can incorporate calculations such as multiplication, division, in uh, an aggregation framework. So here in the project stage, we demonstrate that by having the total income uh, colon and then dollar sign multiply uh, followed by in square brackets the IMDB rating and the runtime. So that's multiplication looked after. So then if we go down and look at next one which is division. So in this case we're assuming according to the question that the total views for a movie can be estimated by dividing the IMDb votes for the movie by the figure 9. So we're looking at movies that have been built or created in the film in the 1950s, 60 1970 that have exactly two genres. 
So we want to display the year made, the genres and the total views. And again, we want to finally, when we're finished, filter the documents to display only those with in excess of a thousand uh, views. And then uh, it's not mentioned in the question, but there's a sort stage in the, in the aggregation framework that sorts it by year in ascending order. So the uh, match stage again is it's there to only get let documents that qualify get get through the hoops. So in my in my solution here, I have 1950, 1960, 1970, 1980, where it's 80 wasn't mentioned in the question, which it should have been. And as I said, the genres there, two genres is fine. Um, the project stage, we're displaying the year med, the genres. Uh, I'm also displaying the IMDb votes and I am displaying the total views. So the total views, as I said, is we got by, we get it by dividing the IMDb votes uh, by nine. So that's why it's there, it's listed as IMDb, dollar sign IMDb votes, comma nine. So it's going to divide the, the item on the left, the IMDb votes by nine. And then we're only uh, displaying those where the total views is above 1000. And lastly, as I said, it's going to be sorted in ascending order by year. So let's just run the syntax and see what it comes up with. So we have we have uh, movies in this case. We have 1960, 1970, 1980. There's another 1950. Um, there's two genres there in all cases. And then we have the actual IMDb votes value. And then we have the total views. So the... Uh, Total views, as we said, is the is the is the total votes, the IMDb votes divided by nine. So in our case, if you look at forty six thousand, so nine fives is forty five. So therefore, we have when we divide forty six zero seven eight by by nine, we get five thousand one hundred and nineteen, uh, or thereabouts. So that demonstrates how to do a division in a um, an aggregation pipeline. So then we progress on to subtraction. And again, we're following the same principles. We're looking at movies that, in this case, um, were made in 1950 or 1960, that have exactly four actors. And we're displaying the runtime and the IMDb rating for the movie and its number of downloads. So again, in the project stage, we're excluding the, the dollar sign ID. We have a zero there beside it. So that's not going to appear in the results. We have runtime colon one, an IMDB rating colon one. So they're going to be included along with this new field, the number of downloads. So num downloads is determined by uh, dollar sign subtract. And then in the inside the square brackets, we have runtime comma IMDB rating. So in this case, we're going to take the runtime, and, which is on the left, and subtract the IMDB rating from it. So the order of those two uh, fields is important. It's going to subtract the, the, the one on the right from the one on the left. And our match stage then is where uh, it's not mentioned in the question, but we're only looking at those cases where there is more than 50 downloads. So if we execute the, the pipeline, that's what we get. Uh, we have, we're showing the runtime of the movie, we're showing its IMDb rating, and we're uh, looking at the, the, the result of subtraction. So we've an IMDb, in the first movie, we have an IMDb rating of 86, and the, uh, sorry, a runtime of 86, and an IMDb rating of 7.7. .7. So when we subtract the 7.7 uh, .7 from the 86, we get 78.3. That sounds about right. Next one is more straightforward. It's 71 for the runtime, minus seven for the um, uh, the IMDb rating, and that gives us 64. So that just demonstrates subtract. So the that's three of the possibilities covered. And the fourth one is addition. So in this case, we're again looking for movies in 1950 or 1960 with exactly four actors. And the uh, we want to display the I am the the name of the director. We're not we're not displaying the movie ID number. Hence this the I the underscore ID uh, and the zero. 
And then we have a rector colon one IMDb rating colon one runtime colon one IMDb votes colon one. And then we're these this daily Netflix views is the new field. And the daily new new the daily Netflix views is determined by are uh, calculated by dollar sign add and then inside the square brackets. In this case, uh what we're going to do is we're going to add the three values. We're going to add the IMDb rating, the runtime, and the IMDb votes to get the daily Netflix views. And in this case, according to the question, we're only want to see those where the uh, daily Netflix views is more than 150 and we want to sort them by daily daily Netflix news as well so uh, the pipeline when it's executed in this case is going to show the director's name the runtime is there on the left hand side first then the director name then the IMDB rating and then the IMDB votes so if we take the first one of those, we have 114 for uh, the direct the, the runtime, plus 40 for the votes. That's 154, and six is 6.8 is 160.8. Uh, the second one is 71, plus seven is uh, 78. 78 and 125 is 203. So the addition here is working perfectly. So that is a quick demonstration of how to do basic mathematical operations such as multiplication, division, subtraction and addition in an aggregation pipeline. So that's the end of the clip.